Nasa lima na ang COVID-19 vaccine candidates which are already in the phase 3 of their clinical trials. Ibig sabihin, tinetest na nila ang effectiveness ng bakuna sa mas maraming tao. Isa sa vaccine candidates na ito ang mRNA-1273. This was co-developed by Moderna Incorporated and the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. October 2022 ang estimated primary completion date nito. Pero susubukan daw nilang matapos ang bakuna by the end of 2020. 30,000 participants mula sa iba't ibang bahagi ng United States ang nare-recruit nila ngayon para sa vaccine trial. Usually what happens is um, half of them you give the vaccine, half of them um, you give something else. Um, normally you give another vaccine that's already approved. Hindi raw madali ang paggawa ng bakuna. Nag-uumpisa ito sa preclinical stage kung saan tinetest muna sa laboratory o sa mga hayop ang bakuna. If the candidates are immunogenic or able to produce an immune response, then we can move to the clinical development stage. Pagkatapos ng preclinical stage, may tatlong phase ng human testing na dapat nitong pagdaanan. Phase 1 is where the candidate vaccine is given to a small group of people, less than 100 usually, to see whether the vaccine candidate is safe. In phase 2, this um, typically includes hundreds or, or thousands of participants. Here we want more information about safety again, um, also immune response, but also looking at the potential um, schedule. So when should the vaccine be given and also the dose. Pagdating sa final stage na phase 3, dito nasusukatin kung epektibo ang bakuna sa mas maraming tao. Taon ang inaabot bago makagawa ng bagong bakuna. At kung tutuusin, mabilis na raw ang development ng COVID-19 vaccine candidates. To give you an idea of how fast we are moving at the moment, so... The, the Chinese scientists who um, sequenced the genome, the genetic sequence of um, SARS-CoV-2, they, I think they shared the, the sequence January 9 or 10. Um, and 40 days after, there was candidate yung mRNA ng Moderna. So that has never happened before. <laughs> like, I think 40, 42 days <laughs> usually takes years. Ayon sa WHO, meron ng 25 vaccine candidates sa clinical evaluation ranging from phase 1 to phase 3 at 139 na ang nasa preclinical evaluation as of July 29. We should finish the phase 3 really. Um, for example, in look at let's say Moderna vaccine and finish looking at the 30,000 subjects that they recruited, looking at the effectiveness and safety of the vaccine before we give it to people outside the clinical trials. Nag-participate ang Pilipinas sa solidarity trial ng WHO. Ibig sabihin, pwede nating subukan ang vaccines na pumasa na sa pre-qualification standards ng WHO. Pag nag-participate tayo doon, tapos those uh, vaccines that were used uh, turned out to be uh, safe and efficient and effective, then we have a choice kung ano yung ipoprocure ng government. Ayon naman sa Department of Science and Technology, kasali na ang Pilipinas sa COVAX facility. Dinasign daw ito para masigurado na magkakaroon ng rapid, fair and equitable access sa COVID-19 vaccines mayaman man o mahirap na bansa. Mag-member ka doon, pag may lumabas na ng mga vaccines na WH o pre-qualified, you will get 3% of your country's population pwede mong ginhen. Pero kinakailangan daw na more than 50% ng population ang mabakunahan para mabuo ang tinatawag na herd immunity. Nangyayari ito kapag ang isang populasyon ay nakadevelop ng immunity at unti-unting nababawasan ang transmission hanggang sa tuluyan na itong mawala. For this particular coronavirus, if you do the, cal if you do the calculation, it is estimated to be around 60 or 70% of the population that need to be vaccinated or infected in order to have herd immunity. So what happens is, after a vaccine uh, candidate passes phase three, um, it still needs to get approval from the regulatory authority of the country, right? For example, for us, the FDA. Pagkatapos ng approval, kailangan din daw i-consider kung paano makakapag-mass-produce at ma-distribute ito sa mga tao. We are now, um, what, eight? 7.8 billion in the world. And um, realistically, no vaccine manufacturer can create vaccines for 7.8 7 billion doses um, instantly, right? So there needs to be a, a way to prioritize who gets who. We should not think of the vaccine as the, like the silver bullet for, 
for this pandemic. We, we should be hopeful, but we should always think about um, the usual um, public health um, recommendations, in, you know, like washing, washing your hands, wear a mask, physical distancing. Because until we are able to, to vaccinate 60 to 70 percent, or until um, the whole world is actually protected, we will all not be safe. Mahaba-haba pa ang proseso bago masiguro na magkakaroon ng epektibo at ligtas na bakuna para sa COVID-19. Sa ngayon, mahalagang sumunod sa basic health protocols at palakasin ang resistensya para makaiwas sa anumang sakit. I'm MJ Jeronimo, I stand for you.